Hey guys, in this video I want to show you another example what's possible with the Bricks widget creator. Because this is also a tool for non-developers, we don't want to create a code from scratch. We simply will use a code base from a CodePen IO design. This should be fine for this video. We want to convert this amazing slider into a custom Bricks widget. We will start by creating all groups and controls we need. If I think about, in this case we need four groups, one group for each slide. And each group contains a text control for the headline and a media control for the background image. Let's create it. Now we can include all code sections from CodePen to the creator. Important. On CodePen we find many designs with CSS compilers like SCSS for example. We need native CSS code, so we need to view the uncompiled code to get the native one. Let's see the result for now. seems to work. We're gonna replace all static values with dynamic values. For each control we create we get a unique variable and now we want to use this. Let's start with the slide headlines. We can check this. Yeah, it works. For the background images we search for the URLs. In this example the background image was set with CSS. So we need to move the styles to the main code section and replace the static URL with the variable for the media field. Great, we can add custom images now. Let's update some CSS styling for fine tuning. For example, I like to add some padding to the slide button controls. Yeah, this is the prototype of the new hero slider as Bricks widget. As you can see, for non-developers or beginners it's very easy to add custom Bricks widgets without coding from scratch. I hope you liked this video. My name is Daniel. See you next time.